Hello everyone, I'm Grimwit from NatPupil.com. With me as always is my best friend Chuck. Say hello, Chuck. Hello, everybody. Wasn't that a magnificent off-the-clock adventure we did? We, we just had, Chuck, in order for us to gather exactly nine, 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 nine credits? Oh, it was absolutely insane. And the thing with the hover bikes... That was oh in- my gosh! That was incredible, but I cannot, un- I can't understand how you would, you were able to listen to Vogon poetry. So, I, I, I just couldn't take it. It was worse oh. than Sarah Palin, and that's it's saying something. The sweetest poetry in the world, and I won't let you get away with saying anything is worse than Sarah Palin. <laughs> no, I need to address something right now. <laughs> so I'm not the kind of person who goes around insulting things or people on a regular basis. Maybe you should start. Uh, I watched the previous video, and I have some apologies to make. What the? No, you don't apologize. Never. Yes, All because right. I inadvertently completely offended, first off, people who stay in halfway houses. Something that I support and help, and I understand people can have a tough time. So uh, I wasn't trying to insult that. I also want to apologize to anyone who has ever been raped... <laughs> what about raking? Oh no! I also need to apologize to anyone who has ever been raked, because I was very rude and offensive. Shield. And the thing is, I'm not that kind of person, unless I hang out with Mike. <laughs> he is an evil, evil influence you, on you, me. You know what? Maybe you're my project. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What? We don't we Anchor don't have the system. time for a theological no. debate. We were too busy gathering so many credits. Legitimately, without the use of any cheat codes. Well, I certainly didn't use cheat codes. Target is now in fire. Alright, so where what's going on, my friend? I well, think I'm caught to date. Um, if I am correct, Mr. Dana um, said that we need to upgrade our ship so that we can go into Xenon space and do stuff. I couldn't hear because your your audio quality was so terrible in the last yep. video. Well, what's funny about this is as you're talking, the the voice is so loud I can't hear you. <laughs> So you're trying to fix it. Okay, that's, that's it. I'm I'm lowering the volume of this voice thing and screw it. <laughs> we'll just turn it up next time a cutscene comes up. Um, what? I'm in uh, s- sector the hole. What's to the east of the hole? Oh, ye navigator. Sure, I can tell you that. Directly east of the hole is Atreus Clouds. Is that Boron territory? That is Boron territory. Dude, I think we just found a shortcut. So what kind of gun are you going for right now? Well, right now I'm going for the best shields. I'm going to start with the best shields. But in order to do so, I have to sell my shields and then travel shieldless to a uh, place where I can buy my shields. I see. And you've got enough room in your cargo for that once they arrive? Well, see, that's the thing, is you can only carry two types of shields at the time. It's like your your shields only have two hands. It can only hold, one, you know, one shield per hand. Doesn't so, make sense. You, well, your ship has a cargo bay. You can store whatever you want, right? No. No, no, that that would make sense. This This game does not make sense. It tries as much as possible to draw things out. Oh, I see. So you can store anything in your cargo bay except cargo. Yes, that's exactly right. The cargo bay is just for show. And no. I was like, what portion of your cargo bay stores the air conditioning unit? Of course, now that I think about it, I guess a ship would really only need a heater. It's already pretty cold outside, so you could just lower the heat. And, well, well, anyway. Well, remember that space is not cold per se, because cold does not exist in scientific terms. Only the lack of heat. Ah, uh, the this more is- you know. This is why, oh god, where I'm under attack. Hang on a second. How many this time? About one? Two? So, three? Three! Three Xenon attackers! Ah, 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 ah. Let's see. The most powerful missile in the game is the Hornet. You know where those are. Uh, the most powerful lasers in the game you might already have. I don't know. No. What do you have? 
I have uh, beta high energy plasma throwers. Oh, okay. So you want gamma. Ooh, I'm up against one of these guys that can actually withstand my attacks. Cool, these guys are fun. Oh. Apparently they are found only on carriers and battleships. But they're not the most powerful weapon. What? What's the most powerful weapon? I'm working on it. Be patient. Aren't you in a firefight anyway? Yeah, I just like to talk. Okay. I oh got kamikaze! Now this guy can actually destroy me by slamming right into me. Well, that's not good. Um, no, it looks like it is the most powerful laser. <laughs> okay. I was wrong. Um, and it gives me a whole list of things. That's, that's definitely one thing this game is good at. Lists. Oh yes, a lot of lists. Wow, 3,000 units of damage per shot. Is that a lot? It sounds like a really high number. I'm assuming that's a lot. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm going into combat and I don't have any shields on. Run away, run away. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, no, they're just attack attacking a cargo ship. That explains it. It wasn't a toilet. That smell was just a dead body. So have you died yet? No. You'll know. How about now? Oh, I can tell you a little story while you fight. Uh, well, actually, the fighting's over, Chuck, but you can tell me a little story while I not fight. You know that I gave up Mountain Dew a while back and <laughs> started drinking milk exclusively. I love milk. Mm -hmm. um, so today I'm feeling better than the last couple of Let's Plays I was here with you. I was terribly sick. I feel great now. I can drink milk again. And I go to the fridge, and none of the fat-free milk is there. Like, I guess it's all gone. And the only thing left in the fridge was 2%. And instead of going to the store and buying more fat-free milk, I am currently drinking 2% milk. My god, you live a wild life! I know. I know. It's actually quite good. It, it's so delicious, there's no way that I can do this every day. You are truly the spirit of adventure, Chuck. It's it's like once you drink fat-free milk, though, switching up to 2% is like drinking gravy. It's so thick. <laughs> like you just imagine, wow, whole milk probably doesn't even pour out of the cup. But anyway. I suppose now would be a bad time to tell you I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in the wrong meeting then, my friend. This is Milk Anonymous. I mean, the room is clearly just me and three cows. <laughs> so, so how... I'm in this mic and I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> my God, what kind of place is this? Have I drank too much? Is, is this heaven? <laughs> If only the answer to all of life's addictions were the equivalent of locking a child up in a closet filled with cigars, and they can't come out until they smoked them all. <laughs> well, here's the... write your angry letters to Microhosp, care of Natch Evil. <laughs> no, no, no. This 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 makes sense here. L listen, the person doesn't really like the alcohol. They actually just need something to fill that void in their soul. Now, there are two ways I can see to do this. Uh, one is Jesus, oh and two is all of the alcohol. So the cheapest choice, of course, is all of the alcohol. Some guy got hospitalized for alcohol poisoning yeah. after drinking six bottles of hand sanitizer. That's the limit. You know, there's there's drunk... That's alcoholism. Yeah. I... Wow. What did, how did they even know to do that? They were in the hospital anyway, so they just stole it from random rooms or something. I don't know the specifics. Wait, why did it lock onto that thing? Hang on, oh, I'm no, trying... not that thing. What thing is that? I have no idea what you're doing. Sundays, rainbows, blue skies, that thing. Uh, I don't know. Um, huh? hang on, hang on. And please, another, please of, work. One of, another one of Mike's references goes right over my head. Please work. Yes! Okay. Sorry, I, I didn't know if I was about to crash into that place. So, I am now saving my game. Otherwise, that would be hilarious.
serious. And we now have 1,002,089 credits and some change that is no longer important to me. Uh, split ter- split Listen to me. Split, split territory will not buy my shields. Wrong. And they will not remove my shields. Okay, okay. Then go south of Talati Game to Sizewell, where they also have an equipment dock. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good idea. You jerk. <laughs> interrupt me in the middle of me saving your rear end. Oh, interrupt me in the middle of describing why I can't do things. Stupid pilot. Stupid Navigator's navigator. Later. We're the actual smart ones. All you have to do is pilot the ship when the monkey isn't around to do it for us. Yeah, and keep from crashing into other ships. And trust me, it is harder than you know. Like you would be able to avoid them without my awesome maps. Yeah, I I actually kind of would. I don't really need maps to see that something's coming towards me at 500 miles per hour. Shut up. No, you shut up. I'm telling. No, God, no, don't tell the captain. He beats me. (laughs) Don't worry, he's still passed out drunk below deck. Well, the good, uh, uh, it's kind of funny. Too much hand sanitizer. He's the person I learned to be an alcoholic from. You idiot, you hit the jettison shield button. <laughs> so now you have no shields. No, I, I have, I do have shields, unfortunately. But I'm about to sell them at this wonderful little establishment. Okay. You okay. know how I love to be dangerous. Let's get dangerous. In my 2% milk. We're going to go wild on this thing. Oh my god, we could go as high as 3%, except for some reason 3% milk doesn't exist. Yeah, well, that's weird. Yeah, it is. Huh. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I no longer have to worry about my old fuck! What just happened? And I'm dead. What? You, you sold your shields and immediately died? I sold my shields and, as you say, immediately died. If I can't sell my shields in the split territory, and I can't fly without shields, that means I have to sell one of my shields, go to split, refill it with the better shield, <laughs> go back. Oh, that sounds fun. I hate this fucking game. All right. Okay. Ninja Gaiden with infinite lives is a hard game. Okay. Once again, completely taking your word for this, not being a huge gamer. Go ahead. Okay, let me see if I can uh, relate it to you then. Um, Juggling is hard. Alright? Yeah, I know what juggling is. Having to walk two miles to juggle balls, and then if you fail on the first try, you have to walk another two miles to another set of balls and juggle them. And if you fail at that try and walk another two miles to juggle, that's not hard. That's not just hard. That's grind-tastic. Okay, so you're talking about the difference between difficult and boring. Yes. This game is needlessly boring. Why can I not sell my shields in split territory? So that I can refill with better shields. Why can't you put your own equipment in your cargo bay? I don't know. That's I'm not a doctor, question. Mike. I'm not a space doctor. So I guess I'll sell one of my shields and I'll head to split territory and buy one of theirs. There, I have just sold one of my shields. Play. Okay. And I just exploded. What? You're, How? You're not going to believe this. No, I probably won't. As I was you- leaving, I crashed into the back of a ship automatically. Oh, this is X Beyond the Frontier. You're gonna die. <laughs> a lot. Stupid pilots can't even look in their rearview mirror. Actually, it was in front of me. <laughs> oh. oh, that's a point plus to the navigator. You know what's fucked up? That was a cargo ship I crashed into. <laughs> what the hell is a cargo ship doing in a shipyard? And how do I avoid this in the future? You know what? Their entire cargo was probably shields. <laughs> <sighs> we carry on. Yes, we do. See you guys on Monday. Say goodnight, Chuck. Oh, uh, good night. See you soon.